My name is Cyril Lachelle, and you're watching YOLO, the only show that's guaranteed to end in heartbreak. I'm taking the challenge to play every game with a you-only-live-once kind of attitude. In this case, literally. I'll play exactly one life of every game, seeing just how far I can make it on a single turn. Today we're looking at DJ Boy for the Sega Genesis. This is a port of the popular arcade game from Kaneko. The console version was developed by Innerspace, who also ported Heavy Unit and Airbuster. I strapped on my skates, so let's go ahead and push start and see what happens. DJ Boy is not unlike a lot of other arcade brawlers of that era, like Double Dragon and uh, Final Fight and whatnot. Our, our gimmick here, as you can see, is that we're on rollerblades and we're fighting a, a gang called the Dark Knight. Apparently our hero, who is just for the record not a DJ, uh, his name is Donald J. Boy, so don't don't think you can go and book him for your bar mitzvah or whatever. He is, he is not a, a registered DJ. Anyway, so Donald, he's part of a, a roller skating team that goes city to city and competes in, in something called roller games. And apparently when they went to Cigarette City, uh, this gang, uh, which also skate on, on roller skates, uh, this gang called the Dark Knights uh, kidnapped Donald's girlfriend. So now all hell is broken loose, and as you can tell, I've decided to beat up their clone army. Apparently they knew I was coming because there's signs everywhere for DJ Boy. But again, he is not a registered DJ, so he will not play your wedding. As we fight this last guy, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the differences between the arcade and this home console version. It, it mainly comes down to the story. In the arcade version, the Dark Knight game swoops in and steals DJ Boy's boombox, and he just goes off on a, a wild rampage across the city trying to get his boombox back. Well, apparently that didn't fly for this Genesis version because they added a, a story with kidnapping and all sorts of tension, and now he has a job, so he's not just this unemployed guy who skates around. Anyway, we're about to get to the first boss, which is actually one of the reasons why you've probably heard of of DJ Boy. This character in the original Japanese version was a, a pretty offensive black stereotype. Uh, they've, they've changed it up a bit here. They've taken away some of her more offensive uh, attacks. Uh, she she used to fart in the in the Japanese version. That was one of her main attacks was that, that she, she was flatulent. Uh, they've also changed the color of her skin, but you'll notice in the upcoming cinema that her, her color reverts back to the to the original. Either way, as a as a first boss, she's pretty easy, so we'll, we shouldn't have too much trouble taking her down. I've actually owned this game for quite a while, though. It's been a few years since I've played this, so chances are we're, we're going to get pretty far in this. I don't remember exactly how many levels there are, but, but we'll, we'll at least see three or four. All right, only one last hit here. All right, let's we'll see her cry and bury her head in the sand and blow up into money. As you can tell, we get a little... A little cinema at the end of each level here. Our, our DJ boy is, is pretty excited, feeling pretty tough for beating up a middle-aged black woman. All right, this is our sexy item shop girl. Let's first pick up a hamburger and refill our life because that doesn't happen automatically between levels. We have to buy that. It looks like we can pick up an upgrade for uh, some stuff. We can buy one of those. And there was a cat. Did you see the cat? See? All right. I got some more life. Uh, this this level has us in a spotlight, so it's gonna gonna be a little bit more challenging. Another thing completely missing from the arcade game is Wolfman Jack, who uh, is nowhere to be seen in this Genesis cart. I don't know if they just couldn't get the licensing or there just wasn't enough memory, but that is that is definitely missing. All right, out of the spotlight. Each of these levels seems to be based off of an urban environment. We had uh, the city streets a second ago, and here we are here in a subway. Again, they knew knew I was coming. DJ written everywhere, but that's not DJ because I'm going to play your birthday party. That's DJ because this character's name is Donald J. Boy. Right back into the spotlight. That oil doesn't seem safe. I see the guy slipping and sliding. 
Apparently, DJ Boy also had a sequel, though not as many people remember it. It was called B-Rap Boys, and it had a CD-quality soundtrack. That was the main selling point. That's not as impressive these days, I suppose. All right, out of the spotlight. A sign for nice beer. It's a sign of quality. I don't know if these are, are dwarves or kids. I don't know if I feel bad beating up one or the other. So unlike Double Dragon and, and Final Fight and all of those, this really pushes you because you're on skates, so... That is until we get to a boss fight. Alright, so here we have our second level boss. He's a half-naked man uh, who dances around and apparently has somebody throwing bowling balls from the, the ceiling. Seems like I might want to take care of that guy first, because this guy seems to be a pushover. He's barely even attacking us. Just like with the last boss, I'm going to try and use this uh, my jump kicks. That seemed to be effective. I picked up some more life, as you can tell. That was what I upgraded. You know, unlike a lot of the button mashing uh, brawlers that you're used to, this this actually is a lot more fair. It's, it's easy to get get pretty far on a single life, even if you even if you haven't played this before. I'm disappointed that they never continued out this the story. I'd be curious to see what what sort of roller games he was playing in because that seems like a, an obvious spin-off. You don't see a lot of that on TV anymore. Oh, it's not looking good. I only have two hits left. All right. Just one more good hit. There we go. Oh, no, no. Come on, there we go, there we go. Collect that money. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm a little surprised they haven't done roller skating with the stars or something like that. I'm, I'm sure it's only a matter of time. I guess they did have that ice skating show that nobody watched. And they had the, the diving show that nobody watched. Well, it's only a matter of time. I almost have enough for that cat. Wonder what that does. Right, let's pick up another another upgrade. Yeah, how about, how about some more power? So here we are in the casino, the gambling district of Cigarette City, level three. Uh, this is where things start to come off the rails a little bit. Uh, as you can tell, we have a lot of the same enemies to fight, but they do throw in a bunch of new uh, new baddies just just in case. These guys tend to give me hamburgers, so I'm gonna try to try to hit one of them. But they're not real easy. Back in 1990, diehard game fan would have been really impressed with all the scrolling going on in this game, but uh, as we pick up speed, we'll see these clown bad guys. This appears to be some sort of mini game or bonus run. Look at all the coins and obstacles here. Now, apparently all of this could have been avoided if Donald J. Boy had just exited the roller games. Apparently all they have to do is get rid of that one guy and they're a lock for the win or, or something like that. I. Either way, DJ Boy had to go. So they, they set up this elaborate situation where the streets are empty and they have hundreds if not thousands of people trying to kill them. Well, maybe they should just get better at roller games or find a different sport. Or The whole scenario is just completely impractical. I, I, it doesn't make sense. Some of these casinos give you odds of 97.4%. Now oh, we're slowing down here a little bit, so we must be getting to an end boss. Oh, don't send in the clowns. Oh, there's another one. All right, well, this is where things just get goofy. But... Like the other two bosses, this, uh... Oh! This is, seems to be pretty easy. Oh, oh! Let me just turn into one of those. God damn it. Alright. Oh no! And then there are these guys! Alright, alright. Alright, is there gonna be a smaller version? Nope, just coins. Alright. Hopefully the coins don't explode. 
Let's get rid of this uh, this last guy and uh, move on to level four. I think I'll actually have enough for that uh, for the cat. Let's find out what that cat does. Ah. All right, this could be it for us. One life. All right, perfect. Now let's get the coins and get out of here. This Genesis port wasn't real popular, but it got pretty good reviews from from the critics. Some some sevens and eights, generally speaking. But all right, let's get some life, and uh, let's go get that cat. Look what that does. Right, for whatever reason, here we are in an industrial area. Defeat some of those guys in formation. Again, with all of the, the same enemies. They're all, all clones of each other. Either that or they all dress the same. And they just pair one up with a, a fat guy and a skinny guy. Everybody in this game looks like they're no older than 18 or 19. So instead of all of the brawling, it looks like this is going to test our platforming skills, which that's not always easy when you're on roller skates. Grab some of that money. The city in the distance here. I really need to stop falling into those pits. That's going to be the death of me. Alright, some more pebbles in our way, and I don't know how those are moving. Oh, not more clowns. Anything? Oh, no! Oh, well, there it is. How disappointing. Well, that's, that's DJ, boy. We got pretty far, though. We got to level four. That's not too bad. Definitely hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to suggest a game you would like to see me attempt to play in one life. See you next time.